Hi, I'm Paige. I'm Anna. And this is In Case You Missed It. We are on the Flamingo team, and we're going to be talking to you guys about all the stuff you didn't learn in school, plus some other shit we talk about at our desks every day. Like taxes. Unfortunately. And hormones? Yeah, and maybe like endometriosis and chocolate and stuff like that. But mostly taxes. <laughs> Moral of the story, you need to mix up the type of sweet little treat you have in order to sustain dopamine levels. We're gonna talk about how if you want to boost your mood, you should just go out and try a new thing. Like, duh. Pardon? No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> All this research is from a Washington Post article. It's kind of talking about how like, if you get like burned out or dissatisfied with your life or with your job, things like that, it says, quote, one effective tool to push back against the feeling is introducing new experiences. Growing tired of a daily routine literally yeah. has a name. It's called habituation. Habituation. This is a quote from professor of cognitive neuroscience mm -hmm. at University of College London. Qua Queen. Quote, the neurons in our brain stop responding to things that don't change. We need to make room for the new and unexpected so our brain filters out the old and expected. Okay. It's kind of like when you jump into a pool and you're like, F it's cold. Yeah. You're supposed to do that to shock your system. But like splashing cold water on yeah. your face. A like cold it's like, plunge. Yes. Yeah. No ice plunges for me personally ever. Oh. But I can try some other things. For a mood boost. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> In the case of a negative emotion like grief, it's good to habituate because the feelings lessen over time, which I think is one thing my therapist always says. She's like, you need to sit in being uncomfortable in order to acclimate to it. When it comes to positive things, we actually enjoy them less as we get used to them. So that's why you can't constantly get a little treat. So you can't constantly have a sweet little okay. treat. You're, you're pushing it. Back. I'm not saying I like it. When we experience novelty, it stimulates the release of dopamine, which as we all know, is a great thing. Dopamine is the brain's reward center. The brain. I literally don't know what you're drawing. Reward center. Squeaky. It's very squeaky. <laughs> the article also goes into things you can do to embrace novelty. And it said, this applies to a nightly dish of ice cream or a glass of wine. Cutting back to once a week may refresh the novelty aspect of it. When 8.30 rolls around, I snap snap my little fingers and, and my boyfriend, who I refer to as the VP of operations when it comes to dessert. Mm. It's like, what, what are we gonna have tonight? And he's like, some vanilla ice cream. And you know what? I like vanilla ice cream, come at me. I guess that is habituation. The cool ass woman scientist, her lab partnered with a tourism company to survey guests at a resort. They found that people were happiest 43 hours into their vacations. Wow. Once they habituated to their surroundings, their happiness levels declined. Like the first, first 43. Yeah, those are the, that's when that's it's like the, the highest. Yeah. yeah. She goes on to say, we found that vacationers most often use the word first when describing when they were happiness, as in the first time they saw the ocean mm. or the first time they built a sandcastle. Mm. Which we were talking about this the other day when I was like, I don't really love a long vacation. I love a little weekend yeah. trip. Yeah, for me, a little weekend trip feels too short. If we're talking like two, three days, according to this. Yes. I'm only just hitting like the greatest moment of my Until life it's... on this vacation. And then I immediately have to go home. Yeah. So I'm like, mm. Would you say the ideal long weekend is three days or four days? Four. I need one to like get in the group of the weekend. What's I need two for the weekend. And then I need one to like recover. Yes. Yes. And get prepared for the week ahead. Mm -hmm. All right, we're done. <laughs>